Shalom friends. There are many different ways to read a book. One way to read it is for the facts that it contains and you read it with a yellow highlighter and you mark it up and you try to distill whatever information is in it and you're done. Another way is to read it as literature, which is to say you read it for the grand themes that are in it. You read it for ways that you can learn about humanity, not necessarily information, but insight, perspectives, living lives that you yourself haven't lived. And then a third way, and the way I'd like to propose today, is to read it on a level of myth to let, read it as though every story you read is revealing something about yourself, something about the human condition, something about your community. When Jews read the Bible, they read it in all three ways. We distill from it information. We also read it for the broader themes that it contains. And then finally, we ask ourselves, where are we in this story? And, and I want to highlight something in Nitzavim, in a portion in Deuteronomy, which we're reading this week, which explicitly tells us to do that. Moses, speaking to the Jewish people, says, in God's name, not with you alone do I make this covenant and this oath, but with those who stand with us this day before our God, and also with those who are not here with us this day. Ve'et asher enenu po imanu hayom. The Bible addresses itself not only to its immediate audience, but across the ages, across time. Anybody who opens this book, who reads these words and sees themselves addressed, is. So Moses is here inviting not only the Jews who stand around him at the border of the land of Israel thousands of years ago, He's speaking to you and to me, and he's saying the fact that you hear yourself called by these words, invited by this perspective, is because you are. Can you imagine yourself as the Pharaoh who's desperately trying to hold on to the slaves? Can you imagine yourself as the midwives who are courageously birthing children even though it's illegal? Can you imagine yourself as Moses being invited to be the instrument of freedom for his people? If you can, then we can enter into the Torah wholeheartedly and we can see ourselves projected onto a screen of biblical stories and biblical teachings that are really the illumination of the human heart. And in that sense, the Torah is a book that echoes throughout the ages because every age reads it in the light of its own humanity and its own concerns. Not just those who are standing with us today, but with those who are not with us today as well. We are all in this together. Shalom.